All right, well, let's just get started. Hey, everybody, I'm Jason. This is ShootCast. I'm joined by Marcus, Calum, and Josh. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a Hell in a Cell uh, prediction show. And um, so we are not sure about um, pre-show matches, right? Is that the that's what's going on? Yeah, yeah we don't know anything about those. Like, yeah, they haven't had it posted or anything as of yet. Like Josh said, I'm sure one of these eight will probably should end up on the uh, pre-show, but for now, they only have eight matches listed. Okay. Um... Well, we can guess which ones aren't going to be. It's going to be the Roman Reigns Braun and Strowman match. That's going to be the very first match. <laughs> yeah, that's that's show. Show. Oh, Dude, that would be so... Could you would be imagine nuts. that if you just... The first thing you hear is, Raw! And you're like, oh. Well, the first thing you're going to hear is Mick Foley's the theme. Yeah, right. The new pre-show, it's half empty. So they wouldn't get as many boos. I mean, you'd only have half the people booing at that point. They don't point. get as many get these hands, though, either. That's true. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be the SmackDown tag team title yeah. is probably going to be the that or the match. um well have they announced the there's no cruiserweight match no. that, that, that wouldn't surprise me so it, then it probably i would think that it's going to be the cruiserweight match they only really do the cruiserweight on the, the pay-per-views when it's um like the big four big four yeah oh okay so they're really trying to separate them from just like NXT has the takeover. I'm to think what feuds are going on. We could see Bobby Roode and uh, Chad Gable in like a tag match against somebody. Oh, yeah. We could see Bobby Lashley and Dinder Mahal. <laughs> Bobby Lashley, essentially. <laughs> Anybody versus Bobby well, Lashley. Owen, we could probably see Owens versus Lashley. Yeah. Because that feud's going on. I thought they would do that that quickly because they didn't really they didn't build off of it last this past Monday. I mean, he talked about Drew's trash talking him, so, I mean, it might be just like, crap, we need a pre-show. Here you go. And Lasho will bury him. And yeah, that's true. And I'm sure we'll get a Elias segment. Oh, that's, that's main show, not pre show. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's just get right in it. Uh, we do we know if this is the order? It's just how it just came out. So we that's don't. We're not positive how it's going to run, but we'll just go through the list that we have. If Basically anything, the, that's probably going to be the last match. That's more than likely going to be the main event. Um, he just pointed at Daniel Bryan for and Brie Bella versus Jason <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. No, it's be Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. Oh my God. Oh man. Speaking of that, let me get this out of the way. Because you know how they've been doing Becky as like a this badass bitch lately right now? The f- uh, female Stone Cold? So, you know how WWE does these like emails where like the wrestler emails you? And sure, so no. Oh, yeah, so what? Becky Lynch right here watched me give Charlotte an Irish last kicking. Which is cool. Becky Lynch is like messaging me. But she shouldn't be messaging people on... on, on it's like on, a promo. Yeah, like What? See, I've never heard of that. I'm going to click on it. Becky so Lynch like, emails you. Like, uh, send any nudes? I get the. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they do this all the time. I got like AJ Styles once before, and like, I don't think it's actually her. No, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's their it's, social media. But, but they right. label it as her. See, it says Becky Lynch, like as the sender. Right, just because it's a promo for her match. Yeah, but that's stupid. Could it's you imagine like her gimmick Rick right now? Flair sending a message to your pager. I'm going to beat up Ricky the Dragon I mean, Steve. Call this I, number back. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad. I know, but it would just be like so... <laughs> Holy crap, Ric oh, Flair. Okay, maybe Ric Flair was a bad example because it's Ric Flair. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, you're like, I'm supposed to be taking you as a serious badass. And and you're, you're, you're taking time out of your day to email the fans. And what like, you all took from that is that it's the social media group. What I'm sitting here is imagining all these overplay, overpaid WWE superstars sitting in front of a computer going, I really got to meet my quota today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to send out 600 emails. I'm going to beat her up. So of course you copy, are. Paste, copy, paste, <laughs> copy, paste, copy, <laughs> paste. Oh, no. Write one email and forward. Right. Yeah. Add her mailing list. If you want to start, just go for yeah. it. But, so, um, the uh, SmackDown ch- Tag Team Championship is going to be the New Days, for the, wh- who are the champs, versus Rusev Day, and I know I'm going to be the outlier in this. No. I have a feeling it's, this, I feel, I have a feeling it's going to be a half and half table. Yeah, okay. Okay. versus the other, with this, yeah. with this Well, let's go here. with, hopefully, my ally, Kalem. New so. Day. All right. They're winning this, man. They, I mean, I don't want them to, but one, they're already promoting New Day in the bar for, uh, I know it's like... The um, the Australia show, which is which is like kind of side canon, like yeah. thing. but they're already promoting that, and I just the New Day just got this championship belt, and they also have like Rusev and uh, Aiden English kind of weird situation going on. Well, the reason they, the New Day got the belt though is because Roman got injured. 
That's true. But that's the reason they're champions. I trust me. I want Rusev to have every single belt in this company, but <laughs> but I just don't see them doing it. I could go not without as him ever being a champion. Again. Really? No, his U.S. title run. They, they ruined him for you. Yeah. But I will say this: his character now, then and then, are two different characters. So, I know it's night and day, but still, I I I fear. That so WWE funny. doing themselves is going to revert back to oh, the heel Rusev the... smash, and that's it. Yeah. But he's so much more than that. He can do so much. Like, did you watch any of his 2K like oh, yeah. roster reveal stuff? He's oh, yeah. so fun. Like, but uh, so my pick for it is also going to be New Day, and there's just one reason. That I can't stand Taden English, right? Yeah. I can't stand him. I like him. I look at him, and by the way, if you've ever heard him just talk normally, he sounds like Kermit the Frog. We were, we were talking about that when they were on a, on a ride together, and me and Jason were watching Ride Together, and... Um, ride Along? Ride Along, Ride Along. Sorry. And, yeah, just close. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. What do you mean, ride together? Are you like stalking them, city to city? <laughs> no, you got invited to go for a ride together yeah. with them. That would be cool. But uh, on ride along, and uh, Aiden English sounds like Kermit the Frog. Like I was sitting there wanting to wave my arms, hey! and he's just uh, he oh, noise. Yeah, he has the he's... weirdest body shape. Yeah. Like, his arms are so long. And his waist his is, legs like, very are long. Yeah. yeah, he's not... Okay, so where, where are we at? Who's, who picked what? Uh, we both picked New Day. Okay, so New Day. All right, so I am actually going... I, I, <clears throat> it's a not... I, I'm, I'm almost positive New Day is New going to retain, but I really want Rusev Day to win, um, so I'm going to go with Rusev Day. What about you? Who would you go with? As I, much as I want Rusev Day to go with it, be. I... I yeah, I, I hope this is the one that I'm makes just going for the sa- safe pick <laughs> on this for his new day, but I'd be more ecstatic if Bruce of Day did win this. Right. So you're going to go with yeah, go on yeah. New, day. new Day. All right, so it looks like I'm solo on that one. I, the only thing yeah, that I think is I really wish – it's cool that Aiden English is a part of it, but I really wish that they would pick somebody else to be his – partner you know what I mean like Aiden English would have been better yeah Aiden English. Aiden English well I like Aiden English because he can sing so like have him come out like as a manager, manager. type right but and have then Simon Gotch and Rusev because yeah. Simon Gotch was more of the muscle of the group right but now Simon Gotch is wrestling in Gainesville and um <laughs> oh yeah fest wrestling yeah. yeah yeah he was up to fest wrestling this past weekend and then he's going to be back in October um which I'll be going to that show. My buddy's been trying to get me to go to those for a while. I probably forgot they about say again. he was one of the hardest people like to work with. Yeah, I heard he was a prick. Yeah, he got like in a fight he just with straight a, up got into fights. Sincara? With yeah, the, like Sincara, Sincara like punched him out. and then someone threw a soda can at somebody's nose. I don't remember. Yeah, didn't he? Didn't while. he have like? He tried to have words with some like Randy Orton or something like that, and that didn't go over. Yeah, that never goes over. <laughs> Randy Orton shit in a woman's bag and didn't get in trouble yeah. for it. Was right? it a woman's bag? I thought it was just the Miz's bag. Oh, uh, I thought it was. I thought it was one of the divas, but still, he shit in somebody's bag. Well, the Miz diva, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm glad I wasn't the one to say it. Um, he like shit in Miz, someone's bag and that, got in no trouble. He's the guy that that. Uh, is being accused of pulling his dick out and then grabbing it and then making you shake his hand when you're a writer. He also was it was like the, three weeks ago. He also was like up. one of the twelve or whatever that got in trouble for that online pharmacy thing. Yeah, and yep. the only one not to get not to well, I mean, get he's, a punishment. He's third generation. He's third, yeah. When he, you talk to like all the wrestlers, they're like his. They hate him. How effortless. He makes wrestling like I've never been a Randy Orton fan. I think he's the default setting for creator wrestler. Um, no, you look at Randy Orton, you're like, you're the default setting. You literally are black trunks, black boots, tights. You know what I mean? He just he's got the build for it. But every time I listen to a podcast or anybody talk about Randy Orton, they're like, that motherfucker's so good. He is though. He's really smooth, but I just I just think he's so vanilla. There's just like on the RKO, like what does he do? It depends the, on if his heart's in it or not. <laughs> Because if, if he's not into something, it's boring. And like yes, but I just, I just, I don't know. I just don't see the power slam's really cool. But for the most part, I just, I don't know. I'm, I just never. I lost a lot of respect for him in the match when he, um, 
when uh, Kofi was in the wrong spot. Oh, yeah. He and, got really pissed off at Kofi and Kingston. And was yelling it on air. I'm like, just go with the flow, dude. Yeah, he was like, stupid. Okay. You're so stupid. And you're like, RKO Damn. the dude. Take your win and go to the back. Yeah, I know. People mess up. And Kofi Kingston's amazing. So, so yeah. um, you were right, Josh. Rochelle Lowen. He took a crap mm. in her bag. Yeah. I, <laughs> sure. I was wondering what he was right about. <laughs> yeah, he did shit in that woman's bag. I don't um, know why I thought it was the Miz. I know he did something to the Miz. I thought he did that because too. him and Rochelle look a lot alike. Oh no, wasn't it? Um, maybe it was. Wasn't Benoit? it like Benoit? Yeah, I, think I think Benoit did that. Kicked his ass. Out or, of yeah, he threw his bag out. Yeah, yeah he like made out. him change in like the in like a closet or something. Yeah, yeah he had to. Yeah, he had to go find was. like. His no, no, no. The Miz had to change. There was actually a time when Miz no, was changing in the public bathroom, right. and fans would actually watch him come out of the bathroom. You know what it was? It's remember because he was like eating chicken or something and it accidentally fell on somebody's bag. And then it Benoit fell in was like, Benoit's bag. Yeah, so Benoit was like, I'm going to kill your family! <laughs> oh and then God. he... <laughs> oh God. And then he killed his own family. <laughs> and then, yeah. yeah, I think he misinterpreted what he had said. Misinterpreted. Um, oh, this wasn't Mrs. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, you went there. I just finished it. It's so dark. I finished it. I know. It. I love it because Caleb's like, I'm not touching any of that. Yeah, he's our he's our guiding light in this terrible, <laughs> terrible thing. Um, so we're going to move on to another tag team match, the Raw Tag Team Champion, which is insane that it's Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre because I missed that Raw, so I had to catch up um, when they beat the B team. And, uh, and then they're the champions, and they just defended again on Monday. And they beat them pretty handily. Yeah, so I guess the whole B team of getting a rematch. Out yeah, of I think the, way. the B team experiment might be a little over. Um, but they're going to be fighting uh, Seth Rollins and the newly returned Dean Ambrose, who Jack looks like Dean. Yeah, it looks like a like a mini Triple H. Well, just just real quick, because I don't. This isn't going to be my pick, but this is what happens when you get four guys that are genuinely happy with the situation they're in. Because you know Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose are completely okay being this tag team in the shield, doing this kind of thing. And Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre are completely ecstatic with this. Because they're getting to do what they want to do. And they're tag champions. You also have to think, too, people forget that Seth Rollins is the IC champion. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, which is not being defended. And he's getting a tag title shot. Like you said, they get to bring the shield back. That, that's kind of why, I'll I'll actually start off, that's kind of why I'm going to go with my pick. This night, it's going to be Seth and Dean are going to win. Um, but it's going to lead to either Drew or Dolph challenging for the IC title See, and winning the IC title. What also. I think is going to happen, and I I kind of wish they waited for this match for another couple months because um, then I'd be more sure of my pick. But I'm kind of thinking that Dean Ambrose is going to turn on Seth Rollins, which will lead into an IC title program with both of them. Um, but I just think it's way too soon to pull the trigger on something like that. But I'm almost yeah. sure that's what's going to happen. No, that needs to be... Oh, for the Universal? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I plan on writing something like that for the website of my pitch for me. I've talked to him about what it was, and he liked it. So you think, okay, but, but what do you think? You think it's... I think they're going to retain because of Dean Ambrose, or they're going to retain... And then Dean Ambrose does yeah. something. We're not going to get a, it's too soon. Yeah, we're not going to get a turn yet. I just think that Dolph and Drew are going to somehow sneak out a win or maybe like a DQ win. Yeah. They're, they're going to retain one way or another. Uh, Seth is going to have both titles. I think titles maybe Braun Strowman comes out and just murders everybody. <laughs> and then that's, then you know what I mean? Because uh, I hate that Braun Strowman's the bad guy now. I yeah, it's kind of stupid. But I think they're really going to keep that like trio together for a while. This is this is going to be the main event for the next couple of weeks or next couple of months. Yeah. So you have uh, Dolph and, or you have Seth and Dean, but through no, um, I don't. Well, I mean, you have you have D- Drew and and they're gonna retain. Dolph retaining, yeah. right? By the way, is it just me or is Drew looking huge? Oh, yeah. yeah, he's a beast. Oh yeah, he's definitely bulked up. Yeah, he's he is a back beast. Up. Well, I just he, think he's just way more aggressive. You know what just, I mean? Not just that, like he looks better as a wrestler now than he ever did. Mm-hmm. Like I, 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 I watched wrestling when he was just coming in he was right. that whole chosen you know one. chosen one thing. yeah uh. he didn't look like a wrestler to me he looked like a young guy like he honestly looked like he should have been part of the spirit squad uh, at the time <laughs> i mean <laughs> part of the three man band but now oh, yeah he's so big you put him on that pedestal with guys like luke gallows and 
I mean, I think he's standing, he standing next to Braun. He isn't that much smaller. No, 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 no could, that's what I'm saying. I think he could definitely be a really good mid card champion. I mean, mid, the, no. You think it needs to be universal type he, champion? I mean, he. If it There's was, so I was many company, people in line, though. Not now, but eventually, in like five years, that's face of the company. Drew McIntyre, face of the company. Really? Do you, okay, so face like of the com- face of the company. You have to do. You have to do kind of that. Be able to switch. What is his? What is his turn to face? Act because mm. right now he's such he's a fucking heel. Terrifying. Right now he's such a heel. What is his turn to face at? It's just but that. See, it just, could be organic because look at Braun Strowman. Who ever thought he would be a good guy? It, it's that just being this monster badass and his unstoppable. We all know while. what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a three MB reunion. Oh, yeah. That's oh, how he gets his face God. back. <laughs> That's his face turn. Yeah, he better win that title. I mean, all three of them. He's oh, no, gonna mind. be so good. That's how he's gonna get a smile back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes That's right. Heath is on the well, SmackDown now. Sometimes when you're such a good heel. It turns your face, and that's just gonna happen eventually. Yeah. He's got everything. He's a great wrestler. He's got a great look. He's got a great. Uh, he's good on the mic. Like everything there. Vince loved him before. Well, I don't see what's not to love about him now. I'm just saying, to be that he, he's shaking face, and I completely agree. His talent, 100, percent okay, gives that. I guess I didn't necessarily mean like baby face, but he's gonna be. Like no, you think he's gonna be like the Roman? Or... Yeah. Yeah. I I, I I would like to see that. Um, I'd like to see his work as a face because he's never done it. I mean, um, NXT he kind of was, but it's such a smaller scale. It's hard I'd to like touch. to see him. I'd like to see him kind of that. Um, what John Cena kind of is now, sticking up for these mid cards that are getting demolished. Like he runs out every once in a while and stuff like that. That would be a cool face for him, but he could still be that. I'm gonna knock your teeth down your throat, looking kind of guy, yeah. and toughest would, guy in the room. Yeah, yeah, I stone mean, cold esque kind of thing. Quickest way to turn him face is put him in a program against Roman Reigns, and you're gonna, I mean, everybody's <laughs> gonna cheer him. They're not gonna boo him in that. In that, I like, mean, that's kind of how I would do it eventually. Maybe like a couple years of this Roman thing, do what I've always wanted, have Roman with like this evil Samoan faction. She should. And have him kind of rise up to be the one to take it out. Could you imagine if he he was a champion and then you had like Samoa Joe as your IC champion, the Usos as your tag team champion? It's or money. You the had a pain. Yeah, oh, and you had money, Paul man. Heyman running that group. You're just like, you... Oh, it's, oh, it's it would be so it's good. Money. I know. I know. Well, it's just the print money. It. I look at this, this one match and it reminds me of... <laughs> it not reminds me. It's, it's got... <laughs> Oh, the names just kind of go. Do you remember Cyber Sunday? I wish they'd bring that yeah. you back. Yeah. These would be the four names that you would be voting for. Right. To who would face <laughs> Roman Reigns? Right. Right. See, I'm excited for this match because I'm not the biggest Dean Ambrose fan. I've grown a little bit with Seth Rollins. Um, he's good. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I think it's going to be a really good tag match because they all work so well together. It's not like one of those tag. You just throw together and you're like, eh, let's just see kind of what happens. Which is, um, like, the bar. Like, that's that sucks that they are just yeah. gone. I mean, they that Rusev Day is in this match because they just beat the bar. So they got their title shot. Um, and the bar was so fucking good. Oh, they're amazing. Like, they just, they were one of those come out of nowhere teams. So everybody was really pissed off about their seven men, or the seven matches. They're like, oh, we're going to make you a uh, tag team. And everybody's like, why? And then... They become one of the best tag teams. I mean, they're so good. Um, I would love to see these guys in the in on SmackDown though, just to have more more tag teams for them to face. Um, but so I have uh, I have uh, Dolphin Drew. You have Dolphin Drew. Uh, that's Caleb. And then what do you got, Marcus? I'm gonna go Rollins and Ambrose just because of the DQ route. So okay, just because I I don't think we're gonna have a Shield night. I don't think Shield's leaving with all the belts. Roman's retaining. I, I, well, we'll get to that later. Right. But I have a feeling that, I mean, if we get a shield night, it's going to drag for a while. Okay, so, so, this is where, so then I'd have to go with Seth and Dean. Because I, I think Seth and Dean, I don't know. <laughs> so you're going to go with Seth and Dean, though, because they're going to win by DQ. I don't know. Because it's one of those things, like, it's hard to... I was trying to, to cop out and just say they retain the belts. Yeah, but if they retain <laughs> they the belts, but how? They retain the belts because they uh, won, they win, or they retain they the win. Like So they're going to win straight up? Some kind of roll-up. Yeah, like I, think the, I think they're going to win straight up. 
You think it's going to be... You think With they're going to... Rollins gonna, and Ambrose. Is gonna, they're going to win the match, but not the belts. They're probably going to be in a DQ, actually, though, and I'm going to like, kick him myself. And then he'll win with that one. What about you? I'm actually going to go Rollins and Ambrose are going to win. Okay, so then we're split on that one. Okay, no, I was solo on that last one. And I think they're going to... I think, I think it's going to be... A very close to Shield Night. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, if they win that match, it's essentially Shield Night until the main event, and then... Mm-hmm. That's the exciting factor. I just had a guy looking for somebody to play for. But, so... After that, we've got Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella versus The Miz and Maurice, also known as Josh is going to get a drink and walk away from the TV <laughs> oh for a few Oh, my God. I'm in, Bathroom break city. Yeah, and that's just... It, it annoys me. So, like, the whole... Why? What a waste just, of Daniel just, Bryan, just, man. Just a speed bump in the road to their overall arcing story yeah. we're going to see this I year. I know they're trying to hold him off till Mania. Like, they don't want him doing too much stuff till Mania. They want Mania season to be big for Daniel Bryan. But, good God, I'm sick of this. I hope it's that, yeah. I, th- I think, honestly, that's yeah. what it's going to I think gonna, he's, gonna he's going to win the Rumble. Rumble. Miz is going to take that title off of AJ at some point. Maybe Survivor Series. Probably Rumble. Yeah, something like Unless that. Unless you do it early as Survivor Series, yeah. Especially because, like, Daniel Bryan, like, he was asked, like, about if they would have a match at Mania, and he said he doesn't trust WWE's writing to ha- <laughs> to write a story that long. Yeah. And so I think just in spite of that, they're going to do it. Which is great. That's what you, that's what you got to love about um, oh, he gives Daniel Bryan. Fucks. He does not give a fuck. <laughs> like, he just resigned, but, like, if he didn't, and, I mean, he if he, Daniel Bryan left, he would make so much money because every other fed in the world's like, yes, please wrestle for us. Oh, yeah. We'll pay you all the this. The return of Brian Danielson. Yeah. He would lose yeah. our fucking the American minds. Dragon. Okay. It's they, like we were talking about how cool it would have been for uh, for Kevin Steen to show up to All In. Like, that would have been amazing. Like, yeah. just do it, Vince. Just let them do it, man. You're just, it's printing money. I think, I think, I think Vince, having seen All In, is going to be much more apt yeah, and then to now, doing this in the future. And now he sees them selling out Madison Square Garden. Even if he sends, even even if he sends Sin Cara or whatever, one of these no-name guys that's not right. doing anything on the show but has got an indie following to these shows, it's still going to have a WWE presence at some point in I know the next it, year or two. He's got to move away from that stubbornness, and hopefully, like a lot, like I don't, I'm not going to board that train that Triple H is going to make wrestling. No, I because it's to Vince's wrestling. I mean, he's he's the reason we're all wrestling fans. No he's matter. the reason independents yeah. are independents right now. Yeah, they're doing the whole. Uh, they're it's his stubbornness is really helping everybody. Well, no, no, no. Grow, he is, but he is, okay. So here's the building that is wrestling. Underneath every building, there's called a foundation. Right. That is Vince McMahon. That's true. Uh, wrestling is Vince McMahon, and it was stuck one way before he took over. And it completely changed. Yeah, and I think having Triple H behind the helm will help out a lot. Um, uh, There's a little crack in that foundation called Eric Bischoff, but we'll... <laughs> it's true. He 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 was the closest. Um, so with this match, uh, honestly, I just I don't give a shit at all. But I think it's gonna be Brian and Bree. Just because you can't have him losing two times. Yeah, you gotta go with the 50 50 booking with this one. Right, their favorite thing is the 50 50 book. So it's generally whoever wins on Monday loses on Sunday. And or whoever wins last month loses this month. And literally it builds no character because if you're. If we're just trading wins back and forth, you're just like, well, what did you accomplish? Unless you're like so good, you know what I mean? Like you can have those series like when the rock and austin would fight they were so good it really didn't matter who won those matches and they could do the 50 50 because they were at the top of the caliber but this one's like a me and my wife versus you and your wife like what yeah i, I don't like the bellas i don't like the bellas at all yeah i first see maurice Bree is Bella great the pin. i love maurice yeah. but i can't send her husband if if, uh, if he just disappeared you don't she, like the miz ah dude i never liked the miz like I've never movies. liked him, never since day one. I'm like, I hate that real world guy. And then uh, I just always thought he was so boring. Yeah, that's what his gimmick. He, so. was the, he was so boring. And then, yes, it's it's good because he has extended his career by being smart. I'll give him that. That's brilliant. You should never kill yourself. He was totally right about what he said about uh, Daniel Bryan and all those guys that, that just murder themselves every single night. Um, I just, I don't, he's gotten better. I just, I don't know. I've just never, I just can't. 
can't follow it. And then they put him in matches like this, and I'm just like, ugh. Um, I, but yeah, I think it's reality show versus reality show. Uh, <laughs> so I don't like the Bellas. Like I can't stand them at all. And then they're winning matches against these established women now. Oh yeah, and they're, they're, Ruby Riot losing pissed me off. They, whatever. Dude, it's like she's so good. Like I was not a Ruby Riot fan when I first saw her, uh, mostly because of the look. But then, yeah, that oh my Get God, yeah, she could probably smell our words right now. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> she, um, but she's really good. And then I watched her on an episode of Up Up Down Down, and I'm like, oh, you're. You're nothing what you look like. You're 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 like you're um like opposite um Alexa Bliss. Like Alexa Bliss probably used to look like oh, Ruby Riot in real life. You know sure what I mean? Ruby like Ryan's the, the girl. If she walked in this room right now, we would all be like <laughs> Yes. Right. Right. Well part of her would get in the room first and then we're like, Oh Ruby's here and then, and then, and then her I will say this, she actually does look better in person than she does on TV. Oh I'm sure she does. I've, she, I've seen her at the next T show. She's not an unattractive ten pounds on the nose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not that she's unattractive, it's just that she's got a honker on her. I mean she's she it's like like That's Triple H's why Triple H likes her. Triple H's <laughs> nose like had a family kid. resemblance. Yeah, Triple H's nose had a child and it's Ruby Riot. And um but she, she, it's true. Can we play? All right, who's, who's the mother to this nose? Um, so I, I am. A, I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. Are we all agreement on that one? Are we all? I, I'm, I'm kind of just in you hopes, with? agreement with that one. Yeah. Um, I I can't watch the Miz one again. I don't like I don't like Miz or Maurice in the ring. So I I like Maurice because she's like a, she's like a good. She's a good heel. Like, she's got a really good, like, bitch face. You know what I mean? Like, when she Dark. does that face, you're just... And then she's... Like, I do... I like how they're innovative with some of the stuff they do, except for the last one where they're just like, oh, I fell into the barricade, and she's just obviously like, here you go. Oh, yeah. um, they've done some, like, sneaky stuff before that was really clever. That one I wasn't the biggest fan of. Um, I liked them together as a pair, but I do not like the Miz solo. Um, but uh, who are you going with, Marcus? I'm actually going with Miz and Maurice. Really? They're just going to do some dirty tactic. and It wouldn't surprise and, me. And win the match once again, like they always do. And I think that's, that's smart, too, because then it makes you want Daniel Bryan to win even more. You're like, what a piece of shit that he took another win from, yeah. from that's, everybody's golden That's board. how they're going to build the stories, is build them back as, well, essentially as the underdog smart. again. That's pretty smart. I, I, I think Bree will get the victory, and then the Miz will say, your wife has to like win your battles. Oh, player. my God, that's brilliant. <laughs> so Brie Bell is going to get the pin. It'd be better if she got the pin on the Miz. <laughs> so, yeah, and he's like, that, that didn't count because we can't fight each other. Yeah. We can't be in the ring at the same time. Oh, my God. The best case of that, though, was that Triple H when Ronda Rousey, when they got in the ring together, and he's like, I'm going to fuck you up. And you're like, oh, you probably will. You're going to go after her. And then she just starts pummeling him. Oh, my God. I love, the like over, a- I love the oversell of him, the the lifting his leg. And yeah, and he's putting, he gets in the corner and he just like curls up. But you got to think too; she probably hits pretty hard. Oh, so geez. even a, yeah, but it's 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 you triple could, a, Not yeah. all of them are landing. Oh right, that. but I'm just saying. But that. I love the oversell because yeah. you learned from one of the best in oversells. Oh yeah, and that is Ric Flair. Yeah, right? yeah. And he's, and he's yeah, Ric Flair took like the punch and took a back bump over the, the top rope, fell, got up, and then fell again. <laughs> that is my favorite. That is, by the way, that is my favorite thing in wrestling ever. Is the is the double bump? Is the dub? Is the the, the Ric Flair bump? The Ric Flair, Ric Flair bump. bump. Yeah, yeah. Or when he attacks his clothing. Um, I love. Uh, you gotta let me introduce this next one. Yeah, by all means. All right. So, welcome to 2008. Shit. <laughs> 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 I, I feel like I'm 14 years old again. We got Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton, and uh, the only question to this match is. Is Jeff Hardy going to do a swanton off the top of this? Is Jeff Hardy going to make it? Yeah. Well. Oh, this is a Hell in a Cell match. It is yeah. a, right. Our first Hell in a Cell match of the night. We have two. And we got um, 2008 weird. versus 2008. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, except for Jeff Hardy's like much bigger. It's so, so weird. He's bulked up so much. If you go look so at old Jeff Hardy, chunky, you're like, oh, he's so, but he's bolts. so, yeah, but he's so like little, like he's even seems like yeah. shorter. And then you see him now and you're like, you're Big fucking dude, like he crushes people with that swanton. I mean, he talks, doesn't, doesn't they, give a shit. That's well, he why. talks about it now. He talks about how he wants to. He's protecting himself. He used to protect the guy, and he's like, "Nah, I'm too old to be to land it on my back. I'm well, crushing you." Well, 
drugs can press the spine. <laughs> That's true. His makeup, though, is on point. That stuff, the stuff he's been doing is so good. Um, and I kind of hope the rumors harsh. are true. And he's kind of hinted this in a recent interview. We actually might get Brother Nero. Or even his impact character, Willow. Which was a crazy character. Right. It'll be fun. I, um, this match I'm really the, not invested in at all. So I'm I've really been following their story, of, other than I, he came out and in. So I've been up. I've been I've been doing a lot of stuff with the channel and with work lately. What was the thing he was walking with? Um, I can't remember who he was walking with, and he was passing Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy, and he did the Brother Nero character, yeah. and then he turned to him, and he, he turned back to whoever he was walking with, mm-hmm. and was like. Let's go. And it's kind of like they they acknowledge it multiple right. times. Yeah. And it's so much fun. This character. That was a while ago. Honestly, Jeff Hardy, if he didn't do half the shit he did, he'd be a fall flat character fired in a week. Oh, yeah. Because he's terrible. Like, his character's awful. But what he does in the ring is amazing. Right. right. So, um... Yeah, because there's really not much of a... Yeah, there's really not much to his character other than he's just, like, the I'm, enigma. Just, just, See that just how you him, think? I'm going to jump off of it. Well, I mean, you got to give him credit. He's charismatic enough, like... Well, well no, no, there's nothing against, him, like, his He's as charismatic <laughs> as a crash test dummy. <laughs> <laughs> he's good in the ring. He's really good in the ring. But, like, when is... But, but then you're like, but what is his, like, character, though? I mean, other than just being, like, he's, he's a crazy dude, and he does crazy shit, and that's kind of his thing. But, like... Other than that, I, that's, I mean, I always saw him because being kind of a smaller guy, and like, he just watched him as a kid. Yeah, he's he's it could be any of us. Right? Like, no, he's really good. And what makes him stand out is his willingness to be the underdog and do the shit it takes. Like, oh, he does not care about his body at all. No. And so that's probably why I looked to him as a kid, and that's that's what his aspect aspect of his character I fell in love with. And that's probably why he became champion is because the kids. You're right. Kids can. Well, one of my favorite things about him, though, is he's, like, one of the guys that's been, like, really killing himself. Like, we talk about Daniel Bryan and then stuff like that, but nobody... He really has to clean up his act and get off those drugs. Yeah. Nobody took a... uh, Nobody took a bump like Jeff Hardy did when he got speared off the... When he was hanging from those belts. nothing from Jason. Nothing. What, the drugs? Yeah. Well... Isn't he clean? Yeah, he's. Oh, uh, he had a DUI recently. Yeah, but I mean, like he was like a he was like a huge like drug know, addict though. Still, it's his yeah. first one in that state. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. Um, I'm gonna go with Jeff Hardy because I don't like Randy Orton. That's pretty much. I have no other. I have no clue how the story's been going with him other than Randy Orton came out and attacked him during the at the end of the Nakamura match. Right, the, it's and Randy then, Orton's like the new dick wrestler, man. Like everything about him is just. He's not the new Joey Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Ryan is amazing. By the way, so real quick, I sent this to all of you guys, but my dad had my dad has no idea. My dad's old school. He has no idea what the independents are, any of that stuff. So I'm sitting there this last weekend, and me and my dad are just hanging out, and I pull up Joey Ryan, like a compilation of his best stuff. Right. My dad is giggling like a little kid <laughs> that's awesome and he's watching this and he goes when does he wrestle because I need to watch it and I'm like oh yeah yeah don't worry about it I already downloaded it all in we're gonna watch that watch his match in that it was very short it wasn't a match it was more just he came out and yeah it was, a, it was a, a hey I'm alive thing yeah but we watched all of all in and my dad's like okay Cody Rhodes acts just like his dad. Every one of his moves, except for a couple of the high flying things, are just like his dad and all this other stuff. But he's like Joey Ryan, my new favorite wrestler of all time. And this is a guy who likes Bruno San Martino. And he's got Joey Ryan <laughs> with him. Now, let's see Joey Ryan, though. He's not really on many televised things. He does Lucha Underground here and there, um, which is on uh, yeah. El Rey on Wednesday nights. Mm-hmm. Um, but his is just straight indie. They're not really, you'll see him on PWG. Uh, really won't see him on Ring of Honor or New Japan. He just kind of just sticks to mainly to the like the indies. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you give him enough money, he'll do it. Well, not even need enough money. He'll show up if you want him to, but... It's like he, so really, what you're saying is I could pay him and he'd come here. I mean, Maybe. for the right price, yeah. Hmm. 
I I I would Ooh, Joey Ryan? Yeah. To get oh, probably. Super kicked by him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, just the problem grab is your junk and throw yourself yeah, in I gotta have the lollipop. Yeah, you, <laughs> it's like you might have to get the lollipop spot. You have to get the whole gimmick. Yeah, because he's gonna take that lollipop out of his mouth and put it into yours. No, no. No, he takes no. the lollipop, puts it in his trunk. Oh, right, that's. Wrestles for a bit, then. Yep. Hits you, yep. puts it in your mouth. I don't know how people agree with that. The only about being in his mouth is the least of your worries. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how people agree to that. Baby oil and pubes. I, like you said, maybe there's like a little <laughs> thing he yeah. sits it in. One, I, I think I figured it out because I was watching, I think, I, what was uh, the girl's name? Sarah, Sarah, I can't, he was facing it in an intergender match. Mm. I think I figured it out. I think he has another lollipop. Right there, either like taped or in like a little coin pocket yeah, thing. Yeah, I think there's like a little, either two trunks or like oh. yeah, probably so, there's something protective. Yeah, because in all the the big butch men that are in wrestling, <laughs> mm-mm, they ain't, mm-mm. they may be wrestling around in underwear, but they ain't touching touching each other's crotches. Well, it, it's funny and sucking on lollipops that are there. If you <laughs> like, I've seen plenty of like highlights of his matches. Like some dudes will grab his joke, and some will just grab like the inner of the thigh, like they oh, want. I, I'd sell Same. completely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'd have to have a talk with him backstage. I'm not gay or nothing, but I have to sell this. It's like I had to do your gimmick. No, no homo. <laughs> yeah. right. If I was a professional wrestler, that's one of my dream matches. I would want. I would want to wrestle him in a heartbeat because won. I know that it would be an absolutely fun match. Oh yeah. yeah sure. It would be. I wanted. I would want to wrestle him. I'd want to wrestle. Who we talking about? Um, Joey Ryan still. <laughs> oh Jesus. The Young Bucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Shoot cast wrestler. No and shit. I'd wanna, and I'd want to wrestle Christian. Joey Me Ryan, too. if you hear I, this and want to come on the show, we'll be happy to have you. Yes, I'd right. love you to wrestle call in Christian and we'll probably more than anybody else just because of how much he could sell the dead space. Yeah. Uh, He's so good. Like, whenever, um, like, I, I love their podcast. Edge and Christian's podcast is amazing. And if you ever have people um, call in and talk about Christian, He's so good. They all just talk about he never blows up. You just can't blow him up. And then he's a really good wrestler. Which makes me happy because I'm not a big Edge fan. And they never say that about Edge. So. <laughs> I just think he's a disingenuous bastard. Oh, the Mick Foley one. Yeah. Oh, my God. The Mick Foley Jim Cornette stuff. lost his fucking mind when that happened. Sako and Kako. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're, we're watching he just Joey tapped Ryan out. and Mick Foley. Yeah, so essentially what happens is you grab his junk, and his junk is so powerful that you can't, like, get... All these people are trying it to put you get in an Mick arm Foley yeah, off put of you, it. Yeah, put you in an arm lock. So <laughs> Mick Foley has Sako on it, and he just hip-tossed him with his penis. Well, I love when, like, he had, After, like... After, like, six guys try to pry away Mick Foley's hand. He just hand. Flex, they all, like, took a bump. Right. That's like, like, he's like, just, he just say it so monotonally. It's like, he dick-flipped him. No, he no. Just we're just, I'm going to call it like a match. If, <laughs> if we're gonna, I'm, there's no surprise in that one. It's a, a hip toss, or it was a dick flip. And uh, the, I remember what I remember. It was like a Congo line of them holding each other's crotches, and he eliminates like ten guys from a Royal Rumble all at once. <laughs> it's like a Congo line of every guy holding the next guy's junk. I get, I get a video and he like flexes, and then they all go over the top rope. I got a video I'll show you later that tops that dick flip. Oh my god. I, I love how like uh, how irrelevant this card is because Yeah. <laughs> I know. This match is so like meh that we're talking about another man's dick. <laughs> that, was my, that was my fault. It, no, it's just like it's so inconsequential. You like having why waste this match for Hell in a Cell? Like so the match that should be Hell in a Cell is AJ Styles and Samoa Joe because it's so personal. Just, He's Jeff, bringing his family in. AJ Styles is just want to get in there Jeff, and rip his face off. Jeff has gone on saying that he wants a big Hell in a Cell moment. And so I think well, this is his first Hell in a Cell too. Yeah, so I think they realize he's at the end of his career. Let's give him his Hell in a Cell. Yeah, let's end his career. Let's let him kill himself. So I think this is going to be the first match of the actual card. I think they're going to open with this. Oh, that makes sense. Um, open and they Cell, Close Cell. Open yeah. Cell, Close yeah. Cell. Yeah. Um, That's probably, yeah. Do you want and, to start with a big bump too? Like, and I think, oh, I yeah. think Jeff's going to get his moment. But Randy's gonna be the winner. So like Jeff will miss. No, I think he's I think he's going to hit early on a big moment. Like he's going to He's gonna swanton off the cell. Swanton off the cell or something. He's gonna hit. They're gonna lay out there. They're both gonna be in like a stretcher situation 
and then they're both going to start attacking each other and come back to the ring. So they like recreate the uh, the Mick Foley, except both of Sabre. them are going to be hurt. Yeah. What's the chance of an RKO off the fucking? Oh, head? that'd be cool, but and they both like get carted out, and people are. If that happens, out. this <laughs> this card just went from where do they shit go? To amazing. Where do they go though? Like, how do they, he just RKOs them off the top through like a table on the outside? No, 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 no they, that's what the we're going to have. They go it's going to be the, the top. Top. I would love WWE is going to try and sell it to. Us. Tonight, our first night, we're going to have all of the foreign announce team on one really long table. <laughs> I don't see Why are you doing that, WWE? Yeah, right? It's got <laughs> <It's laughs> a big circle. I in honestly it. <laughs> see double tables on the other side, on the ramp. Okay. Just so it gives them more room to jump. Whereas there's not much room between the cell and the barricade. On yeah, because Jeff Hardy's coming off that thing. It's like yeah. it's like a given. He's, like when um he also when Shane McMahon's in a no match, control. you're like eh, he's probably gonna yeah. jump off of it. So um, it gives enough room to. So I picked uh, Jeff Hardy to win this match, which is probably not a great pick. Yeah, Randy you're Orton's crazy. probably it, Jeff Hardy's probably gonna die, and then Randy Orton's just gonna pin his corpse. Um, <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> I mean, I feel probably miss. I think he's gonna miss All this one time. And, and hurt himself. All that's going to be left is powder, pills, and... <laughs> <laughs> and some makeup. Part of his eye. No, the makeup will be on the ground where Schnapps. his face is. Yeah, it's his face. <laughs> his face is gone. Um, what about you guys? Who do you got? Randy. Randy. What about you, Marcus? I'm going to go Jeff. Nice. Especially if we see Brother Nero or Willow come out. Yeah, or you can have um, uh, Matt Hardy return. Because he's injured, right? Is no, he injured? he retired. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he retired on a house show last week or week before. Wow. And he's actually retiring the, the Woken gimmick as well. Run. Wow. That's insane. Yep. Josh. Uh, Who you got, Josh? Yeah, I, I got Randy. I got Randy in, uh, in this one. He, it just... It's, it's too... There's nothing to gain from Jeff winning this match. Right. In all honesty, it's just a grudge match, essentially. Yeah, but Randy's got somewhere he can go from this. I agree. So you think? I wonder if this is kind of like maybe it's like Jeff's send off. Maybe I, he I loses honestly, this, and then that's kind of it for him. Because I mean, he or, did want that hell in the break. Cell. Like he could take a break. I think I think up. he's gonna move to a part time gig. As he should. As he should. That, I, that. I think this is his. WWE's open your eyes moment, and it's going to be you know, you can't handle a full time schedule anymore, and we're going to give you that big moment, and then you're going to go to a part time schedule. Do you think they may send him to NXT just to help some of those guys out? Because they uh, are starting to do that. I think instead of uh, maybe as a, I don't know, that's a, that's a hard question to ask because that's a terrible role model to have down at NXT. Yeah. Um, be cool to go to a local show and see Jeff Hardy, though. <laughs> oh, I 100% agree with that. Um, but, like, mine, it's just kind of, it's kind of that situation. I don't know. I think he just needs, to, I think he's going to move to, I think this is his move to part-time. And he's going to remain with WWE. He's going to part-time, and he may show up at some independent shows here and there. Oh, so you think he's going to be done, essentially, with WWE? Well, I don't think he's going to be done with WWE, but he's going to be free to... Free agent-ish, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, I, think this like is, I think this role. is kind of... Yeah, I think yeah. this is kind of going to be his send-off. So here's a good question, then. Next year, Hall of Fame, Hardy Boys? I would hope so. That would be amazing. Would they headline, you think? or No. I think it needs to they be They only have one tag team, but... Yeah, uh, but then who would headline? Who's a big uh, name that hasn't been in there that you think could take the reins? We'll probably see Vader. We'll probably see China, finally. Hmm. Well, maybe yeah. the Hardy's will actually. Yeah, I would think the first tag team the Rock. Line, yeah. The Rock hasn't been inducted yet. No. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Maybe they'll say that to, like, the next Miami. Yeah, because there's a good chance that The Rock will come back. You know what I mean? He's one of those guys that's just, like... He's the he'll yeah, and yeah, and he'll, and yeah, and he never ages, so it's just, like, he just gets maybe. bigger. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't get older, he just gets... Bigger. Well, I think I think next year is pro- as much as I don't like saying this, it's probably gonna be Xbox gonna probably be in the Hall of Fame class. Would it be Xbox or be one two three kid? I think it's gonna be Xbox just because the name. click. Yeah. yeah, and the one two three kid people. And I love the, the one two three kid because I remember watching him beat Razor live. 
Kalen wasn't born for like 10 years after that. But <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, like when he's like 2008 and I was 14, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, he's young. Okay, I was, I was uh, 24, but that's okay. Um, Are you 24 in 2008? 2008, yeah. I'm 33 now. <sighs> You laugh, you son of a I'm bitch. 20, I'm 24 now. <laughs> yeah. I was 20. I'm 10 years older than yeah, you. Yeah, we were 20, yeah. Um, but, uh... <laughs> that killed me when you said that. And I was like, I gotta bring that shit up. Back in 2008, <laughs> when I was a small child. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, well, like, man. Well, I was already, like, three years into being a he drunk. He was already losing hope. This, I know, I was already three years into being this, a drunk. This feud is what was going on when my grandpa died. So, like, oh, yeah. so... It, I c- I'll probably get emotional watching this match, and it's like when Jeff Hardy dies jumping off the thing. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, we are going to see a death on this show. So there's going to be three, uh, three. what is it, post, uh, what's the, it's not humorous, the post. Uh, Posthumous. Yeah. You're going to have three. What's it's going to be Vader. Where Paul's going to show up and took a picture of Jeff's body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be Vader, China, and Jeff Hardy. All so, the dead people that are in the Hall of Fame. I did have, I did, I did want to say something real quick. Um, I think something big might happen in the next month or two months, and it's going to involve two people that we've already talked about. I think Rousey, Ziggler, and McIntyre all go under the wing of Paul Heyman. That would be cool. And I mean, a lot of people are talking to Owens and Rousey. Yeah. As, I think oh as, as Heyman. As Heyman, Oh, yes. my God. Or you I could mean, have all four. I don't know about the... I don't know. Have a... Well, I just, I really I just saw the name today, too. I started watching that War Games match. Uh, what was the name of his group? Because Paulie Dangerously had a group in WCW. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I just saw... Gold Standard? No, no. It was something Dangerously. Dangerous Crew? Was it the Dangerous Alliance? Yeah. Yeah. It might have been that. I, I know, because so. I remember we had a giant cell phone. He used to feud uh, <laughs> he used to beat the, the crap time. out of people with it. Yeah, he had a huge cell phone. Was it like one of the... the like the big yeah, ones. The Not like, yeah, the original phones. ones that was like fucking this. And uh, he used to carry it with him to the ring and everything. That was his thing. You used to be a big shot if you had a charging platform in your car. <laughs> <laughs> that was the center console. Well, speaking of Ronda Rousey, we can move on to the next match. It's going to be for the women's title. Ronda Rousey is going to be defending against Alexa Bliss. And, um... Let's just be honest another death here. match, probably. The only match... The only reason I could see this going on longer is because Alexa Bliss has, like, a... Like, she's got, like, a posse, kind of, now? Like, there's a few yeah, of Yeah, Dangerous Alliance. Yeah. So there's, um... Because she's got, um... She keeps having Mickey James out with her, and then she's got um, what's the other girl? The crazy girl, Fox. Alicia, Alicia Fox. Fox. Yeah, Alicia Fox, right? Uh, Alicia um, Fox, right? Which I am not the biggest fan of her wrestling, but oh, yeah. the stuff she does in the ring is hilarious. Gosh, like she was so getting, annoying. she was getting like her good, ass beat but... in during one match, and the girls are like, "Hey, you gotta do blah blah." And she's like, "I'm trying," <laughs> as they're just beating the crap out of her. Yeah, so she's it's great. How's it going, man? She's an actual. She, I I enjoy her wrestling. Well, Alicia Fox's wrestling. Mm-hmm. It's for the girls that were in the diva era. She was head and shoulders better. Yeah. Than those, More she's than not than as that, good but... as what we've got now. Mm-hmm. But she's definitely better. Who? Alicia Fox. Oh yeah. Um, she's she's fun to watch though. I, I, yeah, I like I like her crazy gimmick. I yeah. like that when she was the captain, she wore like the captain's yeah. hat, and she would salute, and she would she goes. She's the type of person that she's like how we talked about uh, Cody Rhodes for All In. She's just gonna take whatever she's given and just go with. Try it. to make the best of it. I, I like the one where she was um she was like freaking out, and she threw something up. It was with her and um Nia Jax. She was acting crazy, and something, like, flew up, and it, like, hit Nia Jax in the face by accident, and you could see Alicia Fox break character. For just that yeah. second, she's like, oh, and she goes to grab her face, and then she has to pull back. She's like, oh, no, and yeah, then Nia that. Jax just murders her, and uh, with that, ever since then, I was like, oh, you're great. You, you, you broke your character for that second because you're concerned for your friend, but then you went right back to crazy. And uh, I, I think it's good. Quick snipe No, where's Nia Jax? I just realized that. I haven't seen her on TV in a Holy while. Holy shit, yeah, what happened to her? I don't remember if she had, like, a minor energy. She just took some time off. She got, um... I know she knew about a place in Orlando. 
recently, not too Which long is ago. always a that's a good you know, it was kind of a good sign. I mean, yeah. she'll be sticking around for a while. Yeah. Um, and I love Nia Jax too. Oh, Maybe yeah. they're just keeping her away because she's gonna come back and be yeah, like, kind of for she's do. recovering from the Ronda match. Baby. Yeah, and then she'll come back and like just start to destroy Ronda Rousey and give her her first like real challenge because you. The, as it's well documented, I am not the biggest Alexa Bliss fan, and um, well, you're a fan of one thing on her. Yeah, it's that butt. <laughs> and um, but, sorry, who's who's butt are we talking about? Alexa Bliss. Oh. My who's, notes. It's why do we always? Talk about <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's, it literally comes up in every shoot. Yeah, it does. It's well, yeah, in my the, notes. That's like that's the it's one of our rolling joke, yeah, rolling jokes. It's is, because as Jason and Alexa Bliss's butt. Right, because when I got back into wrestling. You guys, we you were watching NXT, and it yeah. was Alexa Bliss, Carmella, and I can't remember the third person in that match. And I was like, oh, Carmella's awful. Yeah. And then uh, Alexa Bliss was nice, but and then I don't remember the other person. But um, it might have been Charlotte Bailey. But uh, she's she's Bosh a good though. she's a good character because she's she, it's infuriating. But I just <laughs> I don't I don't know I just don't she's you know that five feet of fury and I'm the, I think the best thing they did do was have Ronda Rousey Ronda Rousey kind of destroy her. I mean it's bad for her. Uh, but then you're also like, it's Ronda Rousey, so this should happen. Um, I don't think it'll be a repeat. I think she'll do some chicanery where she'll hurt her early. It won't be the whole, it'll be like how it was before. She'll get a chop block or she'll do something. It won't be a where, squash. It would be a, it's going to be a decent match. I think it's, but. I think Alexa Bliss is going to do something early. Maybe like attack her when she comes out to the ring or she's going to do gonna, something well, to give her the advantage to start. Well, I also like, think it's going to be a squash. That's fine. Yeah. Well, squash, on Monday night, um, she actually got injured, but in her uh, I forget what the spot was. Her, but the she, ribs? Her, yeah, her ribs. Ooh, Rousey. And, yeah. yeah, Rousey won the match, but as as the ref was raising her in, yeah. Alexa comes in and kicks her in the ribs. It again. just kicks her right, and then she does it was such a bitch move. She literally gets in the ring. Does a side kick and then runs, right. and it wasn't like the most devastating kick in the world. You're just kind of like, what the hell was that? It's like when you see like a real fight, and just that random person comes out of nowhere, just throw no, an air and fi- kick, and you're it's like, a five year old brother for? that kicks the eight year old brother, and then <laughs> runs, and then takes off. <laughs> yeah. He got his one good shot in. Go, Tommy, go. <laughs> uh, so you guys also have Ronda Rousey. Oh, yeah. I have Ronda Rousey oh, yeah. in 48 Lock. seconds. <laughs> Lock of the night, quicker than uh, <laughs> Goldberg and Lesnar. Yeah. So that's the only one that we've all agreed on. So uh, nine update per 411 Mania. Jack shared an image as part of an Instagram story on Tuesday where she mentioned rehab and tag Norma Tech Recovery, which creates leg recovery products. Oh, so she's got some leg issue. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a lot of weight to carry, and especially when you're wrestling. Like, well, it's not, I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying when you're a wrestler, that's look at Stone Cold, look at his knees, and he is and he wasn't that large. <laughs> he weighed less than her. If you go look at his, he was 252 pounds. His like ever forever after he became Stone Cold, 252. Wasn't they build Nia Jax at like 275 or something like that? Which is sad because she's rest, she's bigger than most of the wrestlers that are out. Like, yeah, she's the only didn't. heavyweight in the division. Like, you have, like, the like guys like Finn Balor, 190 fucking pounds, and you're like... five pounds. Right, 195 fucking pounds, and then Nia Jax is like, I'm up here at 275 in the women's division. Uh, which I love Finn Balor, so don't get that wrong. He, I, I would love for him to be the champion again. Uh, but there's a thousand Finn people Balor in line. Versus Nia Jax. Thanks for having me to see that. Oh, my God, that'd be great. The Demon versus Nia Jax. They would have a lot of fun with it. Oh, yeah, because Finn, be so it's just good. Finn Balor. Um, but it wouldn't seem to be... No. Um, no doing gender. <laughs> so we'll move on to the next match, I think, which would be a little, well, be a lot more competitive. And for the love of God, I. Mm-hmm. Why is Charlotte Flair facing Stone Cold? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's, uh, it's Irish Flair Stone, Cold. Stone Cold. So we're going to have the uh, SmackDown Women's match. Champion is uh, Charlotte, who is the champion, uh, versus Becky Lynch. Um, Hold on, real quick. Marcus just said something that we need to fantasy. Talk oh, about no. real quick. Throw a fancy match out there real quick. Uh, Charlotte Flair, or er, Ric Flair versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. How cool would that be? Oh, imagine the Ric Flair bump after the stoner. I know. We saw it a couple times, I think, when he was the sheriff. Yeah. But I want to see, like, an actual 15 to 20 minute match. Uh, Just a woo and no fingers. Go Marcus, on. it's just us at the table now. Yeah. Well, let's talk shit about the other two people on the show. <laughs> Why? It's, we do it in front of their faces anyways, but it makes it more fun, I guess. <laughs> but, um, so this match, uh, Charlotte 
Nurse Becky. I'm kind of lackluster with Charlotte right this moment. I'm not. I've enjoying. never been a huge Charlotte fan. Well, I enjoyed some of her stuff when she was the heel. Right. I mean, bow to your queen. That was pretty neat. It felt very Ric Flair esque. Right. And then she went full Flair, which turned me away. Because she went the fuck. She went. The, the gimmick we all was scared that she was going to go for. And, and she went flare. Yeah. Um, but uh, Becky, it's kind of interesting. It's not the heel route she went when she was in NXT. If right. If you remember that one. Mm-hmm. Um, she was Emma's... Or was it... Yeah, it was her and Emma. Yeah, her and Emma. Emma got basically got into her head and basically... That's right. Uh, it wasn't the, it wasn't the same kind of heel, but it's a it's a good feeling heel. Like I I like this heel. She basically it was a I'm tired of your crap. I'm done being your shadow. I'm gonna bust some lips. Yeah. Or you better. I'm gonna kick some ass. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but um, so this match I think is gonna be a this is on a um. Kind of like on a weight scale for me. If if Rousey and Alexa Bliss is a squash match, this is going to be a 15-minute match. Oh, no. This is definitely going to be the better of the two matches. Yeah. If Ronda Rousey and Alexa Bliss goes for 10 minutes, this is going to be a five-minute match, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, that's just that's just how I see this going. Um, where My problem is where you put this on the card, it, that it's not overshadowed by anything else because that's a good match I love Charlotte versus Becky I think it's going to be a mid card like the, like the mid pay per view like like the mid main event because they usually have like two big matches and one's like the like middle of the show one's after the do, you, do you put it just prior to Styles versus Samoa Joe or do you try to put it we might see it in between the title matches between okay. AJ and then with Samoa Joe and between Braun and Okay. Well, we'll see that one. We'll see one of the women's matches between the championship matches. I agree. Uh, I, I have a feeling more it's going to be more round Ronda and Alexa just to be a quick filler. Yeah, I think it's going. I think it's going to be Ronda and Alexa is going to be the give or take match that time constraints yeah. will dictate how much time they have. Um, but I don't know if I trust Ronda with that. Like. Telling Rondo, okay, you're you're in that position now where your match is going to have to fluctuate. Um, has she had enough matches where she can hit that time spot? Um, I mean, Alexa certainly has. Yeah, and I mean, she knows how to work those kind of matches. So I mean, you could put Alexa in charge of that match. Which if anything, we'll see. We'll see the, the hit to the ribs to start the match. That match, and then we'll see. Arm flip, arm flip, arm flip, arm bar. And then the next WrestleMania, yeah. over. But, um, so, who do you have, uh, walking up, walking up, champ? This is gonna be my, my, one of my crazy shots. I'm gonna go Becky. Becky re- actually winning the title from Charlotte. Yes, I really want this. And this has been a few, I don't really, I mean, this has been going on since NXT. Yeah. I, it's been, like she said on SmackDown this past week, it's been two years. To the day on SmackDown on SmackDown Day that she won the SmackDown Women's Champion, okay. so it's been like she said two years too long. Yeah. So I'm really hoping that she does walk out the champ. I agree. I I think Becky's probably gonna win this match. Um, it's gonna lead to a couple, uh, uh, probably another month or two feuding with Charlotte, but hopefully ultimately it does lead to. Four horse versus four horse women. Right. I'm. We'll probably see that in Survivor Series. I'm praying to God we do because to watch the four horsemen of MMA kick the shit out of the four horse women of WWE, I would laugh so hard. I love the four horse women of the WWE, but good God, those four horse women of MMA are scary as shit. <laughs> but yes, I got Becky Lynch winning the title as well. Who else did? I did. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Becky Lynch. Uh, it's probably against my better judgment because they WWE doesn't want their fans to be happy. Um, like I said, it's my wild shot. Yeah, that's what I'm. Well, that's I think my Rusev one day other, is that one. One other reason that I'm going with Becky Lynch is they're trying to put the title on Charlotte as much as possible to make her the next 
Or right. The 16 time champion. Yeah, to do that same gimmick. Well, shit, she's with her like a later third way on. there. Yeah. I shall. I hope we don't see the same thing they have with Sasha. Every flip flop almost every week. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Let or, Becky have I, it I and that. keep it. Yeah, but I want Becky to have and keep it because she's every month fine, but, but like every it. two weeks, like they yeah. were with Sasha. That's a little excessive, but it it can be done well. Uh, I'm gonna go with Becky as well. At first, I thought I was gonna pick Charlotte, but the more I think about it, it's just. She needs to win so this. So we all win with Becky? Yeah, she needs to win this. To yeah. keep this going and keep her strong. Because if she loses, it's... It's so just going to stop it's all gonna her back. Which is yeah. crazy. That probably the two more talented of the four horsewomen being Becky and... Charlotte. And, no, 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 Bailey. Oh, Bailey. Are the ones that are buried beneath the other two. But the other two are amazing as well. These two are probably the more talented. Those two are probably more talented than Charlotte and Sasha. Sasha, but, but Sasha <clears throat> and Charlotte have the charisma. The, yeah, the, yeah, right. The the it factor. Yeah, if you like smash them together, oh, yeah, they they're would be fun, amazing. Because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a big Sasha Banks fan. I um, <clears throat> to me, it's it's. I know it's wrestling, but it's all. It's not even that. It's not like her gimmick. It's just about like the believability. When I look at her, I'm like, so you're 40 pounds. Like Alexa Bliss is little. Right, Alexa Bliss is little, but she's, like, stocky. You know what I mean? Like, her legs and everything are just, she's got bulk. You look at Sasha Banks, and you're like, not her butt. I didn't say her butt. <laughs> Those legs. I, it, was, it, was, so much it was just the, like, imagery smile. Like, you just picture something in your head. And yes. <laughs> um, but, but she, but she's, she, you know, she's stocky. Um, and, but then you see, like, uh, Sasha... Who should have died like fifty times by now? Some of those bumps that she's taken in the ring, you're like, you that hard Bailey. Or the Good the suicide time. dive where she um, she Ran had to flip that one time to flip to catch herself, and the other one where she landed on her neck and then her toes kicked the back of her head. And you're like, <laughs> nope, nope, you should be dead right now. And uh, and then people would ask her about that all the time, and just the bumps that she would take on her neck. You're just like, that's not. Um, it's do you not think okay. the full horsewomen? Because they just added that one girl. She just joined NXT. I um, so I would love to see that full horsewoman match. I would hate to see the MMA women win it, though. I'd love to see it. It'd be something so they definitely breaking the tradition <laughs> of wrestling. I would hate to see them win, though. No, it would break the tradition of wrestling, and that's what I'm all about, is something... Different. If you're going to do something, exactly, do something different, not this whole... Because we saw it all the time. Before, you'd see these guys break into wrestling... Kevin Greens for in WCW, all these guys, and none of them really ever broke that thing. It'd be cool to see the four horsemen, even if the three got eliminated and then Ronda Rousey did a three on one. The Undertaker. It'd be it'd be fucking cool. Yeah, I just don't know if I would like to see the women. I would like to see. Um, I would like to see actually Bailey win that match. Um, yeah, just need. because she's like the biggest underdog on that team, mm-hmm. and to see Bailey beat somebody like Ronda I'd Rousey, love see, I'd love to see a Bailey versus Ronda. Ronda, right? Because that's like match. your that's like your Daniel Bryan versus everybody match. It's like that's yeah. your that's a much more of an underdog story than her and Sasha. Sasha was just like, I'm just better than you. I'm like half your size, but you suck. <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay, which is a good story. The match. It's one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. Their NXT match, if you haven't seen it, you should, because uh, it's fucking incredible. Is it just me, or does Ronda need to stop walking to the ring with that big shit-eating grin on her face? She's starting <laughs> to get a little more yeah. serious, but I don't like her fast walk. It just, like, doesn't look intimidating. I don't like her, her fast theme song her makeup. Either. Well, that's what she did in... Oh, her theme song is like... You're like, oh, I'm tough. Yeah, it's like my four-year-old. Daddy, I'm a baddie. You're like, of course you are, honey. Uh, but then if my daughter, you know, was wrong, I'd be the shit out of me. But it's, yeah. I think they're waiting. I think they're waiting for her heel turn. Yeah, I and think then, with the four horsewomen, they can have her, have them like beat up the girls a lot, and then have them win the match. I don't know. I just think it would be bad for wrestling if those four horsewomen came in and beat them. I don't think it would. It would make wrestlers look so bad. It depends on how they do it. It really does. Yeah, it's, my thing is just because they have that newest girl. Would you be okay with? Would you be okay with it if the wrestlers eliminated all of them and then Rousey took on two or three of them? I think that would be really cool because then you'd have the Ronda Rousey like underdog, even though. But it'd have to be like Becky and Charlotte would have to be the last two she'd wrestle because to me those would be her biggest opponents. She'd have to be, and then they're two of the the best women wrestlers ever. Even though it's still pretty, they're still pretty new in there. Wrong. Young. 
I, I don't know anything about Mae Young's wrestling career. It's probably not great. Because she wrestled like probably, 60 can't years. look it up anymore. Yeah, she wrestled 60 <laughs> years ago, and the men's wrestling was bad 60 years ago. So, so when you were 10, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Back in uh, the 50s, when I was a young man, um, so we all have... This walk by memory lane is brought to you by Lucky Strike Sealers. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> that's right. Dapper Dan. <laughs> Dapper Dan. Uh, so the only matches we all agreed on are the two women's matches. Yeah. We all think Rousey's going to win, and we all think Becky Lynch is going to win. So, Becky Lynch wins the title, or Becky Lynch wins... She wins the title. Uh, title. Okay, yeah. It's possible they could pull that crap if she... She... She she Charlotte's going to win because Becky gets herself DQ'd from just murdering her, or yeah. Charlotte finally snaps. I and wouldn't then, put it past them. I yeah, think we'll, Charlotte, we'll get one of those tonight. Yeah, the, Charlotte's going to snap and then just get herself DQ'd, and then you're gonna, people are going to be so pissed... Um, I think this match will actually probably be between the next two matches because I can't imagine them doing those title. Well, that's matches. what me and Josh were talking about. Was the women's one of the women's championship matches going to be in, in between it's the, their, yeah their women's the like matches. filler, which they they're notorious for those kind of things. Um, so moving on to the next match, which should be a hell in a cell match, yeah, is AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe for the Dota E Championship. But in all honesty. Why? I like uh, because their per, their feuds like super personal. All Samoa Joe does is like, I'm, I'm banging your wife. Your wife. Yeah. <laughs> How's your kid doing? I'll has be he your done, daddy. Has he, has he done daddy. the I'm banging your wife thing, or is it m- more like I'm going to be? I'm going to be uh, the. Well, it's like in the last pay per view. It's like he said to the daughter, "I'll be your daddy." Yeah, I I remember that. Um, I just know that like whenever they get real. So, people yeah, involved, they try to stay away from the whole cheating on angle because it, it causes a lot of problems backstage. Um, but AJ and Simone feels better if it's not in a cage because I think somehow it's going to end outside of the thing and outside of the in the crowd by AJ's wife. But, um, somehow, yeah, I think that's how. I think that's why it's not going to be in a cage. There is no simulation for this match; it's just a regular title match. I thought uh, I was thinking it was like no DQ or something. Yeah, no, just a singles yeah. world title. I like that though. Like, I like a, I like a good standard match for the title. Um, but I, I honestly, this is where I see Samoa picking up the title. Um, it's gonna be a I mean, physical it, it, match. It makes sense. I just you gotta think who's on the cover of that video game that they're is, trying to sell. This is true. The champion. Yeah, but he's on the cover of that video game awesome. without a title. Yeah, but they never put the title in the game. Yeah, just so saying. He got I mean, and yeah, he isn't wrong. Storyline wise, it, it makes sense to book Samoa Joe winning this match, yeah, but. I just, I just yep. see them not ready to end the AJ Styles, especially since he's had almost over 300 Well, because if any of the rumors are true, we're, we're going to see WWE in the next six to eight months buying the um, library from TNA, the, Impact. the video library. Impact rumors up again? Yeah. They, they had it like a while ago. Yeah, well, also I, supposed I was to be reading up some what, stuff this pro? last weekend. Hmm? Progress or Repro, aren't they supposed to be picking them up too? Yeah. Well, they were in talks of, well, I thought it was ICW, but well, maybe now it's Repro, before it was ICW, but uh, Progress. I know it was one of the European ch- I'm not sure how it worked though, because Progress has their own, like, ch- like, their own subscription service, so I don't know how that's going to work. I think if WWE buys it, the, the greatest marketing would be to have as many of the big TNA guys have held the title. Um, that way we can put out a best of impact thing, and then you have, you know, who who all has? Um, so AJ, Kurt Angle, Kurt Sting made his he, appearance. Yeah, he never won. He but he, I mean, he other than the big gold belt, right? Yeah. Um. Then you'd have Samoa. Uh, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy. Never won that though. 
Yeah, right, they won this, but he with the TNA though, if they bring that, they can do a compilation right. like that. Yeah, I think it was ECW well, champion. Drew, Drew McIntyre. Also, if, yeah, if Matt, I was there too when it happened. If Matt has won the title with TNA, that's a way that when you induct him, you can say world champion. Oh, Bob, yeah. Bobby yeah. Roode was the world champion there. Wasn't Lashley? Lashley uh, was Matt the world was also champion. ECW champion yeah. for a little while. Mm-hmm. Bobby Lashley. Um. <laughs> Big sh- uh, wait, no, no, big, no, Mick Foley, but Mick Foley didn't really wrestle. Did he there, win the world I mean, title? No, he was more like a general, G- general, yeah. general, yeah. general manager. Um, Jeff Jarrett, Bo Booker T, Booker T, Kevin Nash. Kevin I mean, Nash you got a, you got a ton of people, but what I'm saying is these new guys get the strictly young WWE fans interested in these new guys. And then you could sell the DVD Impact, which these kids may not have seen because it's on. It was on Spike, then Destination America, not a channel they typically would go to. So that's just my theory on it. Make these guys big as can be, and then sell the DVD. It's just strictly a business decision. That's why I think Samoa is going to win the title. I'm gonna go with AJ just because, like I said. Uh... Um, maybe against my better judgment, but I just I don't think they're done with AJ yet. I think they're they lately they like these long title reigns. They can say the statistic, and like um, yes, Brock Lesnar beat CM Punk's record, but it was the Universal title, not the WWE title. He beat CM Punk's with two matches. Yeah, so <laughs> no shit. But but if they have AJ beat it, it looks good. I don't think he will though. I think he'll drop that very soon. Even if if Samoa Joe isn't the one to take it off of him, I think it'll be the Miz or something. Uh-huh. But Joshy boy, you got Jason. Jason? Oh, oh uh, man! I'm gonna go with AJ, I'm gonna go with AJ Styles. Uh, I think AJ Styles is gonna retain. Like you said, I don't think they're done with him. Samoa Joe, I don't. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Uh, I, he's a great wrestler. I just I don't know if I can see him as their world champion, especially oh, with, can, all the, yeah. with all the talent that they have. I just I don't know if I'd put him at the top. And AJ Styles is just it's just so good. Like I just. Uh, like you said, um, Samoa Joe, if he did win it, I think he'd be a transitional champion for them to build up somebody else. But I do like the idea that you had of um, the Miz fighting him at uh, I like Ro- if, Royal Rumble. If this had been 10 years ago, the conversation would have been 100% flipped for Jason. Oh, yeah. Because Samoa 10 years ago was the obvious champion. Yeah. Uh, and and I did not really care for AJ Styles. It yeah. would have been the filler. <laughs> Yeah. AJ gets better as he gets older. Dude, I was—I oh, yeah, only always. became a Jericho fan like two years ago. When he made the list, I was like, "Oh, I'm a Jericho fan now." Because I hated Chris. What's not the like, first list he made though? He didn't like the. What's that? The, yeah, it's not the first list he's made. No, I know. But, <laughs> that was the one arm. <laughs> yeah, moves. that's right. But he Holds. did. Yeah, the yeah thousand and three or something like that. Man of a thousand and three holds or something. No, no, no. Just... Ma- he was making fun of Dean Malenko that was the man of a thousand holds yeah, and, and a... he was the man of a thousand and one. Right. And he came out with the big long copy like, paper. Yeah, it was like arm bar. And arm my bar. favorite thing was it would be some basic submission move. Leg hold. Yep. And then would, he'd Chinese whirling cat suplex. And then it would be Arm bar. <laughs> and then arm bar. Yeah, he had a bunch of arm bars in there. Um, yeah, I think uh, AJ Styles is going to stay champion. Uh, I just, he's just too frigging good. And then I, I don't know where you'd go with him after that if he did lose. Um, I think they're going to try to get him to, cause what is he at now? Uh, he's at 200 or 300 days for his reign. It's over three. It's almost like close to 400. It's, yeah. It's over. Here, here's where they messed up. Why in the hell does... Braun Strowman have the money in the bank. Like, he didn't need it for this feud. They should have gave it to The Miz. Uh, yeah, I... Which I know we've, which we've seen before, but... Right. Um, who do you have for it? Uh, I'm gonna it's go kind, of, kind of a hard choice for me. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. It's not an easy pick. That's what I like about it. We, we don't really know what they're going to do. I'm going uh, to go with, with Joe. I'm going to go with Joe. Okay, so we are split on this one. Just because, it's just there's one. It'll extend the feud. Probably until Rumble. Right. Um, where AJ may win it back, or probably win it back. Right. Or get into like a triple threat situation. I get Miz involved instead of for Miz and Bryan at WrestleMania. Right. But 
I'm gonna go Joe, yeah, because just because <clears throat> just to extend the feud, an easier way to extend the feud. Yeah, I, I would love to see AJ Styles fight uh, Daniel Bryan. I though. think the feud is gonna extend because I mean, unless Cian Almas is like the next challenger, like who who on Raw is gonna challenge? Because Shinsuke's got that SmackDown. SmackDown. Did I say Raw? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, am, I am a mess tonight. You're Josh now, and SmackDown is Raw. <laughs> up is down. It's down opposite up. day. Yeah. I'm like, wait, Shinsuke's on Raw again? Holy shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, it should be Shinsuke. I would, I, I would love for him to be the champion. Well, you have to drop the U.S. though first. No, give them both. I, he's not even on this show. Right? Yeah, that's another person. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He might have a, a pre-show match. Oscar, I will on not this. watch the rest of this goddamn pay-per-view if they put Shinsuke. Do a uh, do a U.S. Open challenge. Oh my god. Oh my god. And lo- at least as long as it's somebody like good that comes out, like. To be a returning or somebody upcoming. Bob yeah, Backlund. or like Rey Mysterio. Because Rey Mysterio is coming back. So yeah, maybe. You do an open be, challenge oh. and Rey Mysterio versus Shinsuke would be fucking incredible. Oh my god. Get a reason to watch the pre show. Yeah. Could you imagine Backlund. if they did that? Rey Mysterio's return. And they're like, hey, Booyaka Booyaka, you're at match number one. Oh, on the card? No, 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 on the pre show. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that would be incredible. I would love to see them uh, to see them wrestle each other. I just think Shinsuke, there's so many matches I want to see him in that we're just not getting yet. And the Daniel Bryan AJ Styles for the title, I think, would be so much fun. Uh, but I just don't know how you get there other than having the Miz win it and then do this whole crazy stuff. Um, so we're going to go for the final match, which is the Universal Champion. Uh, Roman Reigns is defending against Braun Strowman in a Hell in a Cell match. And Mick Foley is the special guest referee. So this match is is like their how they did it with RVD, the Money in the Bank, where this is he's cashing in ahead of time. This yeah. is his cash. In. So when he comes in to wrestle, he's gonna do it face to face, which I hated that. I hated that promo because he's like, I'm gonna fight you guys face to face after you finish your match. You're like, no, 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 enter the match now. Don't wait until the match is over till one of the guys has already got the shit beat out of him. Because either way. The guy survived Brock Lesnar, or the guy survived Roman Reigns, who are, who are two beasts of a man. So you're like, okay, I won that match, and then he kills them. I have a theory that they they could keep that Money in the Bank contract because because Baron's this heel guy. Mm-hmm. There there could be a way this ends without him actually losing that contract. You think they would do like it didn't count as it was this wasn't a legit cash in? So oh. or he just keeps giving him more cash ins. Or him, I'll let him tell the story. Oh. Well, here's here's what I would love to happen. So, have um, Baron kind of like say like in a backstage segment to Braun like uh, like I'm just making this match, like or he says it to somebody. We see him talking to somebody afterwards. Like I decided that this isn't a cash in tonight. Uh, this is just I'm just making this match. I have plans for the money bank contract. And then later in the night, Kevin Owens cashes in like he gets that contract from Baron because they've been like cahooting right and so the night ends with with Kevin Owens universal champion like that would be nuts you wouldn't see it coming I mean, and, that's... and they could do it they could, they could do something like that I want them to do something like that because I hate this wasted money to the bank contract because right. Braun's not winning this match tonight. he's not walking out a champion yeah so I thought it was a cool idea at first to have him have the the, the money in the bank because you're like he's the scariest dude on the roster so imagine that you win a match and then you hear that roar and you're like well fuck, you're fucked because normally like <laughs> if, any, if guys like Dolph Ziggler can beat you which is nothing against Dolph but it's guys like Dolph Ziggler could cash in and beat you uh, Braun Strowman's cashing in and beating you like if you, you're not winning that fucking match um no, I totally agree, though. That would be so cool um, just to have some something out of left field where... Yeah, because if Kevin Owens' music came on after Roman Reigns wins, people would, they yeah, would lose and, their minds. And then, like, he says something and it just pulls out this, like, uh... Or if he says, like... You could have a mini one in his trunks. He has like, a little, I, little I, mini suitcase. It would be great <laughs> if he's like, I have somebody who, um, he's going to represent me. And then Paul Heyman comes out. And then all of a sudden he's like, and he, he comes out from the back holding the contract, gives it to Owens, and they run down. And yeah. Like, oh, they can do so many cool things. Or, or like like I said, something could happen where, like, he doesn't actually, Bronk can keep the contract because yeah. Barry does something sketchy. But 
I don't know. So we all going to universally agree that Roman Reigns is winning, or do you think? What about you? Because we all think it's I right. want Braun to win. Me too. Uh, I do too. I honestly want Braun. To I don't know if anybody Reigns. wants Roman to win other than Roman and Vince. But with Roman finally beating Lesnar, getting the bell after all this time, they're not going to give give it up on him so easily. Yeah, because a guy that 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 beat the the new streak or whatever. Um, yeah, you, I don't think they're really going to be like, nah, we know we had this guy as a champion that was unbeatable, and then you beat him, uh, fuck you. You know what would be super poetic? Mick Foley, when, when Kevin Owens won his Universal title, Mick Foley had to, like, reluctantly give it to him because right. of Triple H's involvement. Right. And so if, Triple, if Mick Foley had to do it again as a special guest referee... Ooh, that's a good what, point. What I would like to do is have Triple H come out and help him win it again, and then never fucking tell us why. Just like the first time. <laughs> They're like, hey, why'd you help him? Just scrap, I don't know what you're talking about. We scrap because plans. Triple H, that's why. Yeah, you know. uh, because a guy got injured and we had to do something fucking crazy. Uh, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's my friend. Yeah, <laughs> I love I love after like three months, everybody just gave up and they're like, well, I guess we're never going to find out. Let's just move on. And I'm like, no, no, that's horseshit. You don't just get to have some crazy like, fucking thing happen. I did happen. like the theory that Kevin Owens didn't know. Like, in, Yeah. Because oh, he sold it like yeah. so well. He did. Real he looked life. up at him like, you're like, did he really, did they shoot? Does he really? Did they never tell him this was going to happen? It'd be so great if they only told like Seth Rollins about it, and then he shoot didn't know he was going to win. That'd be the best thing because he does. He looks at him like, oh. <laughs> this, this what, I think may, what I think may happen is kind of along the same lines as you said that it's not going to be a cash in, it, but it's going to be Roman versus Braun. Roman's going to get like a fifteen minute win. And then Braun's going to cash in for another 15-minute match. Yeah, that would be... I would love that so much. I want that so bad. Uh, wait, wait. I go over that, that so one bad. again? I was Make it that. so that he's not cashing in somehow. Right. So official match and then cash in. Then the cash in. So Braun loses the first match, wins the second match. Yeah. And walks I, out the champion. Baron Corbin is the MacGuffin because or, he's this heel who could do that. Yeah. I love to use the word MacGuffin too. I love that <laughs> word. You never hear MacGuffin. <laughs> it's, what are we saying? People in fancy college boys. Oh, um, but uh, yeah, I I would I would love to see that. Would be fucking awesome. I would love to see it, and that's something WWE has. That's along the lines of something WWE would do. It it, it that's so, that's so that's so true. It's great. It's like all right, I. I'm worthy enough to challenge you without the money bank contract. Now that our match is over, screw you, I'm getting another yeah, shot. I'm the bad like, guy now. I'm hitting the reset button. Yes, it's dope. Yeah, or Baron I, could just do it for him. He comes out and he's like, you're cashing it in now. And then, I mean, what do you... I would love that so much. He's like, no, that didn't count. Especially this is the actual with cash the, in. You, between the shield and Baron Corbin. But you so know yeah. what I think is going to happen, think, though? Is it's that if Say that scenario happens, I, th- I still think that... You're going to have your interference from Drew and Dolph, and then somehow Roman's going to squeak out a second win, which that's what I think is more WWE no, than, would, than would boo the so, That's what I'm saying. But they don't care. He doesn't I'm not watching so wrestling ever the again. First match, Until next Monday. <laughs> the first match, if that's what happens, I think the Shield interferes in the first one, allowing Roman to get the first win. And then Braun has Dolph and Drew interfere in the second one allowing him to win. Hounds of Justice versus Dogs of War. Yeah, yeah I, I just I think that, that's a great idea. I just, as I'm thinking about it more, I'm like no, it would be like them to make him lose twice. And uh, and just because they apparently they don't they, they don't like their wrestlers that everybody else likes. Well, it's, it's that thing. It's when is Bray Wyatt going to win the title? It's that when it finally does happen, we have that aha moment, and it's like this is awesome. I mean, he, I mean, and then last it year falls flat. It was last year, year before? I think year before. He he named Lynch, 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 Lynch. won the belt. Yeah. And then of course it dropped to Randy at yeah. Mania, which was oh, terrible. Which was fucking pointless. Yeah, there was I no hated fucking the point. To have oh no, there's bugs on the ground. Uh, I, I'm convinced. <laughs> oh yeah, the little the projection. Yeah. I'm convinced they gave that to Randy just as reward to take in those bows from Braun from Brock oh, Lesnar. Oh my god, bring that concussion. Have you ever seen a projector like up close? They don't look like bugs on the ground to you. Yeah, it just looks like lights. Right. No. So, so but um, fight. so another question I wanted so, to ask for so this So for match. this one, you think Roman? And then you think Braun. Well, I want to ask a question before okay. I give you mine. 
Okay. Do you think they introduced color in this match because McFoley's involved? I mean, why not? Oh, uh, that's like, I was why like, not? Damn. It's like, Marcus is like racist meter went off. <laughs> and he's like, holy shit, who are we talking about? Like Bobby Lashley? <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, color in wrestling terms means blood. Blood, yes. Not what Marcus what thinks other it offensive means. thing can we say? <laughs> well, we can say a lot of offensive things. But <laughs> how long have you been around? They've, they've kind of loosened the... More or less the reins on that mm-hmm. aspect, <laughs> but now you have McFoley involved, and it is Hell in the Cell. Yeah. So what do you? So that? So we have to get some crazy bump. We have. Oh, yeah. I mean, there has to. Why would you put him in Hell in the Cell if somebody's not? Oh, no, I think Reigns is going through the cage. See, I think that I think that Braun's actually going to take the bump. Reigns is going to the cage first, then Roman's going to spear. I think. I think one hundred percent. I think different. I think this cage is getting destroyed. That's what I'm saying. No, I think I. When I say destroyed, I mean the cage Just is going to be hanging thing. and stuff like that. I think they're going to find a way that That'd this thing awesome. falls apart that doesn't hit the crowd. Yeah, it's probably going to be Braun. Braun's probably going to tear it apart. He's I gonna... want this cage to be destroyed because yeah. you have two animals in this ring with a psychopath and the referee. <laughs> right. Yeah. Somebody literally does not give a shit. So yeah. he does, What is he? He does. What do you think he cares about your body when he's? somehow still alive. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's... I think uh, maybe you'll get, like, you'll have your Dolphin Drew and then that Mick Foley could fight them off, you know, potentially, because he's like, hey, what, you're not going to come in this match. And I just don't understand the Mick Foley thing other than being Hell in a Cell. Um, yeah. I don't get why he's there. Uh, he can't really take a bump. Right, but that's what I'm saying. I just don't get why, what his involvement is just, gonna do. I mean, his involvement is basically to kind of commemorate just how big a match is and Tiger was. Right. This is gonna, it has that big match feel to it. Right. So that's why they threw yeah, it in the mix. It's it's weird though because we we're talking about that fifty fifty booking, and it makes me wonder what they're gonna do because Roman got the upper hand at the end of Raw, mm-hmm. and generally when they do that, yeah. MacGuffin Owens is what I suggest. Yeah, MacGuffin. <laughs> <laughs> that's the MacGuffin time. Owens show is gonna be his new show. Oh god, <laughs> I'm the MacGuffin. Most of the wrestling fans will be like, we don't know what that means. <laughs> it should be McOwens. He just changed to McOwens. <laughs> It'd be genius, man. I want I want it to end so bad with with something crazy. With, with like, Roman not being the champion. I, I would be okay with Owens walking out with the champion. Yeah, I'd be okay it with It would just come out of left field. Yeah. It was one of those things that you would really... They're not going to do it. No. no. I they, think I would this love... This is their plan. This yeah, I would love... Yeah, the Roman experiment is not dying anytime soon. Um, so I'm going to go with Roman. Marcus is Roman. Kalen's Roman. I'm going Braun. Braun, the odd man out. But hey, you never know. You may... Oh my God, that would be incredible! I would, I would be if Josh wins this predictions because of that matchup. Fuck it, I'm okay because Braun's the champion, and he should be a champion that defends every single night. He should defend at house shows. He should do. He should be the world champion open challenge and just so be not like, Brock Lesnar. Right, he should because that's what I was. Brock Lesnar should have done that. He should have been like, I'm a badass. I literally can fight you. And every match should be a title match. That he should never do tag matches. He shouldn't do. Even the house shows defend the world title every single time because you're Braun Strowman. That should be your thing. Like, you should be the destroyer. You should come out and just be like, well, well of course I'm going to defend the title because he's not the guy that backs down. And he flips over trucks and shit all the time and destroys things. And he came back to life after being crushed in a trash compactor. <laughs> All right, well, that's uh, shoot. I'm going to go over these one more time and then we're going to end this because we've been going on for a while. Um, so we have the SmackDown tag titles. Uh, my, uh, I'm the only one that picked Rusev Day. Um, the Raw Tag Championships is is uh, Dolph Ziggler. Oh, give me a second. All right, so um, we had uh, we had to stop for a second, everybody. So I, I apologize. I don't remember where I got into. So we had the SmackDown ones, which I'm the only one that picked Rusev Day. The Raw Tag Championship is Dolph Ziggler. And Drew McIntyre, Caleb and I picked them, and Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose were picked by Josh and Marcus. Uh, Josh, myself, and Caleb all picked Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. Marcus is solo on The Miz and Maurice. Uh, we were split. He has no soul. We no, were s- because I'm awesome. Ugh, I hate that, too. <laughs> Ugh. I, like I just hear, I'm awful, every single time. Um, Jeff Hardy it was picked by... 
myself and Marcus, and Randy Orton was Caleb and, and the Josh. parole board. <laughs> and and uh, we all decided that Ronda Rousey's gonna murder Alexa Bliss. Maybe it'll be. I think it'll be a little more competitive. Like I said, I think it's gonna be her doing something that before the match starts, where she beats her with the chair or whatever. We'll have the rib kick, shot. Yeah, she'll she'll get yeah she'll get the chair and hit her with the ribs, or she'll Push run her up into and kick steps her. or something. Right. Um, and then we we have 48, so I get master. And then we all agreed that Becky Lynch is going to win the title against probably all, all of our better judgment. We all hope, right? <laughs> we all think, but it's probably against our better judgment. Um, we, uh, Caleb and myself, think that AJ Styles is going to retain, while Josh and Marcus think Samoa Joe is going to be the new champion. Uh, and then for the Universal Title, we all but Josh picked Roman Reigns. Uh, Josh went with Braun, and but I do like the idea of two matches having a 10 or 15 minute match followed by like another five or ten minute match where he cashes in and then Caleb also thinks that I don't think I just want <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It would it be so night. good if Kevin Owens wins dream situation right uh, so yeah and so that is the Hell in a Cell you guys got anything else um yes Charlotte Flair looks like a man. <laughs> She's a buff lizard. Uh, Ronda Rousey could kick all of our asses. That's fair. Yeah, we'll let her. Randy Orton's a douchebag. He seems Miz like can't hurt. wrestle. <laughs> Dean Ambrose looks like Lunatic Asylum met steroids. It's true. He did buff up. Dolph Ziggler. He's hitting those padded walls hard. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler's one of the most talented men on the roster, but also one of the most conceited fuckers. Oh, yeah. And the New Day is one of the best segments to ever come along in professional wrestling. Oh my god, we are definitely going to have to have a New Day podcast, because I just don't fucking get it. I don't, don't get it. I'll be honest with you, when they first appeared, I wasn't a huge fan. They just kind of eventually grew on me. Nope, they have not grown on me in the three years he that would I've been have liked, them. He would have liked their first little segment when they came out, and they were all wearing suits, and they were being quiet. Yep, I'm totally okay with that. Pancakes and all that shit is so stupid. I cannot. It's not even the pancakes and the cereal and popsicles and stuff. Can't stand the it. Cereal just, was tasty. Every cheap. time they come out, I'm like, this is just so fucking corny. Like, I just can't. I can't keep behind. It. I hate being cynical, old man. But it's like, every time I see that, like, I love fun stuff, but it's just not. To me, it's just really it's so corny. Really? Because you're just ignoring my fun. <laughs> I am. Well, you you I'm keep just pissing on it. All right, I'm pissing on his pancakes. <laughs> I can't believe Visit Man lets that happen. He's like, I love the new day. Yeah, Pancakes just an are old delicious. Man now, man. Well, because he sees yeah. dollar sign, no. dollar sign. Yeah, oh, yeah, they sell a lot of merch, but I just... So does John Cena, and I just don't give a shit about John Cena either. He's gotten better. Um, I would love still to see him turn heel. Uh, we, we just need to get that. Everybody just needs all the good guys like that. Just turn him heel. Mega Cena. And yep. So and I think, Roman. may I have the last words of the show? Sure. Well, we WWE, please hire Joey Ryan. <laughs> but no, no, no. If they if they hire Joey Ryan, he wouldn't be Joey Ryan. You cannot PG that. Yeah. He'd be the pick a prick style. Yeah, he would just... <laughs> Okay, well, that's been our shoot cast for Hell in the Cell. Uh, I am Jason. I'm Marcus. Kayla. And I am Joey Ryan's biggest fan. Yeah. We will catch you guys next time. Bye. He just loves dick.